let's make the table. So when you're making a trick table, what you need to do is you have your 0 degrees, 30 degrees. These are your standard angles 45, 60 and 90, correct? These are your standard angles. Now, now what you can do is you, you, you know how to do this. Now. You can write 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. You can divide by 4. You can divide by 4. And you can take the root. And you can take the root. Then you can simplify this. So this will give you your sign. So 0 upon 4 is what? 0. And root the of 0 is 0. Root of 1 is 1. Root of 4 is 2. Correct? Mm. Now this one, there are two ways of writing it. When you have root 2 by 4, you can you can reduce it. If you reduce it to 1, that 2, 2, the, you can write this as 1 over root 2. Or, you know, you can write this as, if you leave it like this, it can be root 2 upon root 4 is 2. So, either you write as 1 over root 2 or root 2 over 2, both are correct. Okay. So, this is just the rationalized form. You know how to rationalize, no? Suppose if I give you yeah. 1 over root 2, you multiply and divide by root 2. So, this will be root 2 and root 2 into 2 is 2, basically. So, if you if you rationalize the denominator, you will get this. So, basically this and this are equivalent. So, in exams, when either you write this or this, it won't matter. It won't make a difference. Okay. So, so, so you may write this as 1 over root 2. This is what, what is, uh, what is, uh, what is root of 3? 3 root 3 one. root 3 root 3 upon 2 root 3 upon root 4 is 2 ok this 4 1s it will cancel off so root of one. 1 is 1 now cosine when you are writing you obviously write all these values in reverse order so this is going from 0 to 1 now here you write this from 1 to 0 so, so this will be 1 this will be root 3 by 2 correct this is 1 by root 2 correct this will be half this is 0 so you write everything in reverse order Right? How do you write your tangent or tan? Sine over cos. Sine over cos. Yeah, zero. Correct. This is one by root three. One by root three. Then this would be one because they are equal. They will cancel off. And three root three. Root three. And anything about zero is not defined. Infinity or not defined. I don't know. What do you write in your board? In in IB we write as infinity. Correct. It's not defined basically. Now, when you are writing your cosec, you know what is cosec? Yeah. What is cosec? Opposite of sec. No, 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 no. Reciprocal of sine. Okay. It's one, yeah. of, one over sine. So, you take the sine function and you do one over this. Means you reciprocal each of them. So, okay. what is the reciprocal of zero? Zero. No. One. Infinity. You can't divide by zero. Okay. Any number upon zero is you can't div you can't divide. So you write infinity. Okay. okay. What is the reciprocal of one over two? Two. Two. Two over one, which is two. What is the reciprocal of one over root two? Root two. Root two. What is the reciprocal of root three by two? Two by three. Two by root three. You just reciprocal this. Get the numerator and the denominator and the de you just reciprocal. What is the reciprocal of 1? 1. 1. Okay, so that's your cosec. When you are writing your sec, sec is reciprocal of cos. So tell me all the reciprocals come up quickly. 1. Huh. Root 2 by 3. 2 by root 3. 2 by root 3. Huh? Root 2. Huh? 2. Huh? Infinite. Correct. Good. Tell me the, tell me cotangent. So remember that your sec, sec is a reciprocal of cos. And your cotangent or cot is a reciprocal of tan. So tell me cot. So you look at this and you reciprocal each of them. Infinity. Yes, very good. Infinity. Yeah, then. 3. No, why 3? Reciprocal. Don't change anything. Root 3. Ah, root 3. Okay, then. 1. Ah, then. 1 upon root 3. Yes. 
Zero. Okay, very good. Excellent. So this is so in exams when you're doing this, you can make this table and key. So every time you're doing sums of this sort, you re simply refer to this table and write the values. That's it. You have to just do that. You don't have to do anything fantastic. You have to simply refer to this table. And I'm recording this video. I'll upload it on YouTube and you'll be able to see this anytime. Okay. Yeah, it will be a private video. Yet it won't be shared with anyone. So, so don't worry. It's not, it's not uh, available to public. Okay. So now let's begin yeah. with the first sum. So you have to do sine sixty, cos thirty, plus sine thirty, cos sixty. Simply substitute. Come on, start. Tell me what is what is sine sixty? One uh, root three upon two. What is cos thirty? Root three upon two. What is sine thirty? One upon two. Cos sixty. One upon two. Okay. So now simplify. So obviously you'll be using bot mass, so you'll multiply first. Correct? And then you'll add. Remember that. So root three into root three is what? Three. Three. You multiply numerator by numerator and denominator by denominator. Two into two? Four. Four. Plus one into one? One. One. Two into two? Four. Now when you're adding two, two fractions, you have to take LCM and add. So LCM is four. So three plus one, so four upon four. So the answer of this is Zero. one. One, one. You are dividing. You are not subtracting. One. One. You are dividing. Only when you subtract, the answer would be zero. Huh? Not when you divide. Okay. The next one. Two tan square forty-five plus cos square thirty. Minus sine square sixty. Chalo, start. Tell me. Two. What is tan forty-five? What is meaning of tan square forty-five? You know that. One. Yeah. One you, square. You, correct. You take tan forty-five and square it basically. This is what it means. So one square. Plus cos thirty. What is cos thirty? Root three by two. So root three by two and square it because it's cos square. Sine sixty. Root three by two is square. Square. So tell me the simplification. Come on, how what will this uh, simplify to? What is two into two one? Plus. So first you square it. Two into one is two base. You got two. I mean one square is one. Plus root three square is three. It comes to. Three upon four, two square is four. So you square the numerator and you square the denominator. So square and square root will cancel for three, but two square is four. Minus three by four. Three by four. So plus three by four minus three by four cancels. Two into one is two. So the answer for this is two. Two plus zero, which is two. Okay. So that that's pretty simple. Next. You have cos forty-five degrees divided by sec thirty plus cosec thirty. Now, what is cos forty-five? Look at what is cos forty-five. One upon root two. Okay. Now, what can you write your one over root two as? You can write your one over root two as what? Root two over two. If you rationalize this and this means the same thing. So generally, when you're doing sums of this sort, we want the denominator to be rationalized. So rather than writing one over root two, we can write this as root two upon two. Are you following that? It, it, it doesn't matter. But if you want to write one over root two, then you'll have to rationalize it. So suppose if I write this for simplification, I write like this. What is sec thirty? 
What is sec 13? Half on root 3. 2 over root 3. But what I can do is I can rationalize it if I want to. We will wait and watch. Okay, so suppose if we don't, suppose if we don't write this as, suppose if I write this as 1 over root 3. Let, let, let me just write what is there and then I will tell you what to do. Okay. Cosec 30. Cosec. Cosec 32. 2. Now here the problem is what you know, these are not rationalized. These are not rationalized. So what I can do is I can rationalize it. When I rationalize it, I will multiply and divide by root 2. When I, when I rationalize this one, I will multiply and divide by root 3. You are getting the point? Huh? So, yeah, yeah. now what will this become? 2 root 2 by root 2. No, by 2. Because when you multiply root 2 into root 2, you will get root 2 square. Then square root square root cancels off. You get 2. Okay, what will this be? 2, two root three. 3. 2 root 3. 2 root 3. You are multiplying. Uh, upon what is the root 3 into root 3? 3. 3. Plus 2. 1. Why 1? 2. Cos 30 is 2. So this remains 2. 2 upon 1. So I can take LCM. So this would be root 2 upon 2. If you take LCM, P will be the LCM. Correct? So I am taking LCM of the denominator. So this will be 2 root 3 plus 6. Okay. Hello? Yeah. You understand? Hello. Any point you don't understand, you stop me. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, so basically this is root 2 upon 2 multiply by, you multiply by the reciprocal. 3 upon 2 root 3 plus 6. Okay. Now, what does this become? 3 root 2 upon 4 root 3 plus 12 plus 12 because you have to multiply 2 by 2 into 2 is 4 4 root 3 2 into 6 is 12 correct now what I can do is so that is 3 root 2 now 4 if you remove 4 into 3 now if you want to rationalize it how will you rationalize it you know how to rationalize this You multiply and divide by the opposite side. You have to rationalize or not? Okay, you can leave the answer like this. I don't know whether we have to rationalize it or not. But I just if you look at the if you if you look at the textbook behind, you will come to know. So this will be a square minus b square. Correct. So you, so if you rationalize it, and I'm showing you if you rationalize it, this is like a plus b into a minus b is a square minus b square. So that will be 3 root 2, root 3 minus 3, this will be 4, 3 minus 9. So that's 3 root 3, root 3 minus 3, upon 4 into minus 3, minus 6, sorry. So this and this cancels, 3 twos are 6. So minus root 2 over 4 twos are 8, root 3 minus 3, this is your rationalized answer. Look at the answer behind, you will get an idea. See, I will tell you how. When you open the brackets, when you open the brackets, this is root 2 into root 3 is root 6. Root 2 into root 3 is root 6. Minus into minus is plus. This is 3 root 2 upon 8. Okay. 